Hey guys, this is Stunna2150 here. I'm here to make a tutorial on how to make your desktop look something like mine's or like mine's depending on your taste. This video is for those who have seen my past videos and are going to see my future videos and they like the way my desktop is laid out. First off, I'm going to start off with the taskbar. Okay, The taskbar is usually locked Okay, when you first have Windows. What you want to do is you're going to want to unlock it click and drag to right here. Ignore the glitch. So your death thing is going to be like here. You're just going to bring it up to here. Okay. Wait. Okay. And then there. And then you lock the taskbar again so it doesn't move. Okay. Um, this is for Windows 7 by the way. If you guys want my um, backgrounds, I plan on posting up those on um, the description on YouTube. It'll be a a, a link to um, Rapid Share. I'll upload these files and I'll get I'll get some more just for you guys. See if you like them. But if you don't know how to get to it, it's just go into Google. I this is Google Chrome, so I just type it in. But let's say you don't have Google Chrome. Let's go to Google.com. Type in blue abstract b l u e a b s t r a c t go to images now depending on your resolution size you're going to want to depict whether you want extra large images large images or medium images since i have a 1200p 1920 by 1200 i usually go to extra large images and as you can see you guys from right here, you just saw that. Let's see if I can. Uh, I can't go back, but here's an image. You've got these images. I don't want to download them, but okay. So that's how you get the desktop images if you don't feel like downloading it from the description box. Okay. Um. Let's see. Object doc. This is this right here is really good for those of you who just hate icons because icons admit it they just suck and they're whack and they're like pimples they just look disgusting and I just hate them because it makes it look really unprofessional so what I do is let's say if you want to hide those icons you could just go to do view desktop icons and your desktop icons will show up I don't have any because I took them all out this is called object doc they call it a doc and what it does is you take things like this, an icon from your desktop, and just bring it down. And then you could delete this, delete it, and just click it. It's like an icon, but on a clear, cl nice clean dock and everything. You know, I have Photoshop, Firefox, Google Chrome. I've got everything here. It looks nice with the special effects. So how to get that would be just go into Google, just type in object doc it should take you you're gonna look for star doc object doc okay you go to the website once you're here you're gonna wanna go to free download you're gonna press download free here and it's gonna download now I'm gonna cancel this cuz I already have it but once you have it, just install it like you would a normal program. And it's going to look pretty basic. It's not going to look like this because obviously you have to customize it. But once you have it, you just take icons from your desktop and just drag them onto here. And they'll end up like this. You can also customize an icon. Like this isn't Google Chrome's normal icon, neither is Firefox. What you do is right click on an icon, Duck Entity Properties change image browse for image and you, you put whatever you want you just look for it on your computer and then boom it's done okay um, right here is where you change the, the fig configuration of your dock show you what it looks like here themes you can change the theme docklets I don't mess with docklets appearance icon size I'm gonna raise this up and you're gonna see right down here the icons are gonna get a lot bigger you see and they'll get smaller so let's leave it around 60 
62 like I had it. Magnify size. See how big those things got? I can make them bigger. I can go all the way to that way. Yeah, all the way to the max. And they'll get huge. Okay. So that's object doc. I'll send you the link in the description to this as well. This way you don't have to go on a wild goose chase. Okay. Another thing I'd like to mention is these things. On Windows 7, you have a thing called the dock. I mean, not the dock. Wow. <coughs> called um, widgets or the um, sidebar. And on Windows Vista, your things are stuck on the side like so. On Windows 7, what they did, which I really love, is you could just take them and you could put them wherever you want. And there's no ugly screen right here, so you just put them wherever you want. I like to put my clock here, my CPU usage, as you can see I have a dual core laptop. And my thing here, if you want those, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to find you the links to this thing. And um, I'll show you how to do it. <coughs> Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I just finished getting all the links to all the things that I have. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is, when you first start off with Windows 7, if you haven't done this already, what you're just going to do is you take your desktop, you right-click it, you go down to Gadgets, and just click it, and it'll bring this menu up. Now, you're not going to have as many as I do, or if you've already done this, you probably have three, four to nine pages of, of widgets. But basically, just try out all these. Just click it, double click, and it'll show up about right here. If you don't like it, just press the X. If you want to move it, click this tab with all the button, the little dots. Drag it wherever you want. Put it right here. Who cares? Another thing would be, I want to show you guys, I'll show you with this one. See this little um, ratchet or whatever you want to call it. I forgot what they call that. I know that's pretty stupid, but click it. And it lets you customize certain things. Some of them have it, some of them don't, as you can see. And you just go. Click what you want. Oh, that's number 20 already. And you just click whatever you want, and it'll change it for you. OK. Um, if you don't like the ones that are already here, what I would recommend you doing is going down here, get more gadgets online. Once you click that, it's going to bring open up your default web browser, which mine is Google Chrome. Okay, it's going to take you to this website. Okay, an official an official Windows website. What you're going to do is you're going to click Find More Desktop Gadgets. Okay. Once you click that, it'll take you about right here. Okay, and you just scroll down and see which one you like okay right here there's buttons for you to go to the next page if you like whatever you see now um, I'm gonna show you how to download these let's say I want this this clock right here pretty ugly but I'm just gonna show you for an example you can either click that to get a better description or if you want to do it the quick way just download install It'll install pretty fast. It's like a few gigabits. Click it, install, and once you install, it'll show up right here. If you don't like it, or if you want to customize it, or whatever your situation may be, it's up to you. Okay, um, I'm going to get to where my gadgets are. My gadgets would be this one, Digital Clock, which is this right here once you're here, which I'm going to send you all the links to these exact websites that I'm going to show you. you just click download, do the same thing I just showed you and then the other one would be um, oh that's not it, alright no, where is it? Oh, okay that's that uh, frequency amplitude, hmm sorry guys, let me stop this real quick